and welcome to episode 16 of Sunday League to Champions League. And today we are facing Notts County in the third round of the Bill Bay's FA Trophy. Uh, so a little trip to Meadow Lane and we're going to be testing ourselves against Neil Ardley. Um, Notts County sitting fourth in the table as we speak. Fair few points behind us, but that's not going to make it any easier of a game here. Um, it's going to be a real tough test for Kingsland Town against Notts County. Um, and uh, in the intervening period since the big 5-1 win at home to York, we were due to play Haven and Waterlooville, but due to a waterlogged pitch at the Wark Stadium, uh, the game was postponed until the 15th of February. Um, and then we played Bromley, where we made one too many changes, 10 to be precise, and uh, fell to a 91st minute Frankie Sutherland free kick, which ended our 20 match unbeaten run in the Vanarama National League, uh, which was disappointing for us. But fortunately, York City were able to snatch a win against our title rivals Aldershot, which means the gap at the top still remains at seven points as we approach the final 10 games of the season. Um, what the postponed game against Haven and Waterlooville has meant, though, is that we've got a fully fit side and a full strength team to pick from as we uh, as we face Notts County here away. And uh, without further ado, let's crack on with it. The scouting report says they're going to be playing a 4-4-2 system, which sometimes we have been known to struggle against just because of the withdrawn wingers tucking in a little bit and uh, congesting that midfield area, which is, uh, as we play an attacking midfielder, is sometimes something we struggle against. Uh, so we'll see if that system... Yeah, it is a system they're going to be playing, so... Not feeling greatly confident um, in the early stages of this game. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Obviously, losing that game to Bromley has meant that we lose the option of a few of the sort of the more motivating team talks that you can have here. So we're going to have to tell the team on a unit-by-unit unit basis that we've got faith in them. And uh, hopefully that has uh, got them G'd up a little bit as we crack on with this game. And Charlie Wellens early. Can he get it through to Dean Andrews? He's made the run. No, he can't. Crawford clears. Only as far as Hewitt, who sends it back down the line. It's quite a poor ball. And Wooten, I think, is Notts County's top scorer. We've got to be careful of him today. Uh, but it's it's played back to the keeper, and we look to build something again here from the back. Charlie Wellens dropping deep to get the ball. Here's Ben Fox. Clips it wide to DeBio. Bit of an assist machine. Sends it in. Wealth to Silva. And I think he's hit the crossbar and uh, it's just gone over. And that was unlucky there for Wealth to Silva, who's been a real revelation for this club this season. And DeBio sends it back forward. No, it's not to be. Pretty speculative stuff that from, from DeBio. And he's been beaten there. And Miller gets it across. And Wooten, is he offside? No, he's not. That's going to count his 11th goal of the season uh, in just the fourth minute of the game. And Kingsland Town have fallen behind here. And that is not the start we were looking for at all. And uh, Kyle Wooten there with a pretty decent finish just clips it beyond the keeper. And uh, I don't want to see a second replay of that. As we look here to try and not going to change our uh, our mentality just yet. Still on attacking and wealth to silver here. Can he get it onto his favoured left foot? He's got it to Dean Andrews. And Dean Andrews has made it one all here after five minutes. And they've hit back instantly. Wealth to silver has picked his pocket there. And he's got it into Dean Andrews, the top goal scorer, who's just blasted it beyond the keeper. Now, there's nothing you could do about that. And they've hit back instantly, Kings Lynn. And just 10 minutes gone, it's already one all here. Two quick fire goals in the early stages. A lot of possession for Kings Lynn in this opening 15 minutes, but still. You know, obviously one all in, on the score sheet and still looking like a relatively even game in terms of chances created. 
probably should be looking to do more with 64% possession. Not a lot going on now since that explosive start to the game, but we've got another highlight here. And Charlie Wellens has had his pocket picked and it's been sent forward. Wooten. He's got it into the box and Kirk was there, but Tootle. It's a terrible headed clearance from Alex Kirk, who's been a real rock at the back for us this season. And there's anything rocky about that. Um, it was quite a poor defensive clearance here. Could have headed it either back to the keeper or behind for a corner. But he's chosen to head it straight into the path of Matt Tootle. And that is 2-1 to Notts County. Um, it's not what you need at all as we approach, as we just go past the half hour mark. And uh, I think it's probably time for us to go very attacking here. And look to try and snatch something back. Just after half time, but if if before half time, even better. And that is quite poor stuff there. And an aggressive team talk is on its way. I expect to see a much better showing, and they've reacted really well to that. They look fired up by that team talk. And let's see if they can look fired up on the pitch. Slightly on top here in this game. And I think we're quite unlucky to be behind, to be fair. Just past the hour mark now. Nothing really to speak of in this second half. Uh, it's a goal kick to Notts County. You've got it forward. No, it's been intercepted by Kings Lynn. Hewitt, Wilson sends it forward. That's a pretty poor ball, to be honest. But Kirk's headed it away. It's a shame he didn't do that for the goal, but never mind. Kirk again, back to the keeper. Not really going anywhere. Kirk now, can he send it down the line? He's tried to, but it's another poor ball. Wasting possession here quite a lot. And Osborne gets it inside. Crawford sends it forward. It's Tootle again, but the keeper stopped it this time. I mean, he didn't really have much of a chance with the last goal, but he's done well there as the keeper. Osborne bends in the corner, and Chris Smith just heads it over. And... Look to make a couple of changes here. Southwell comes off for Daniel Trickett Smith. And uh, I think that's probably it. Ryan Innes is going to come on for Alex Kirk, who's been cost us a goal and been booked. So he's got to go. Ben Fox here, free kick specialist, sends it over. Well earned. Yes. It's Charlie Wellens, and it's 2-2 here. Fox clips over the free kick. Wellens comes from nowhere and has just prodded that beyond the keeper. And now with 10 minutes to go, it's 2-all here. And I think extra time was cancelled by Notts County, so this will probably go to a replay. And a replay is probably the last thing we need with the fixture congestion that we've got going on at the moment. Four minutes of added time. Can we create something in these last four minutes, even a shot on goal? Doesn't look like it. And that's the final whistle here and a two-all draw. But we do get to take Notts County back to the Walk Stadium. Um. It's difficult now to say. I'm going to say what a comeback. And uh, they're all very happy with that. I didn't want to be too harsh on them. Normally I would have given an aggressive not happy. 
Uh, but given that they've snatched a late goal there to make it 2-2. Aldershot also with the draw against Torquay United. So uh, they're also struggling a little bit there. Notts County held on for a draw. And uh, Andrews with the goal. Let's have a look now. N yeah, four days time we'll be playing Notts County again here. And I think that's probably going to be the next episode we record. Um, and then we'll go away and play a couple of games before we come back. Probably for this home tie against Chesterfield. Um, before the away game again at Notts County. It's going to be a very, very congested end to this season here for Kingsland Town. And uh, that will probably be all for today. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you leave a like and subscribe, it would be hugely appreciated. Um, if you want to see more regular games, uh, leave a comment below if you enjoyed it. Um, keep an eye on my Twitter, at GamesGilly, um, for information about live streams and that kind of thing. We're on Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash GamesGilly. Um, we'll probably be looking to do a live stream towards the end of the season as well. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But that's everything for today. Really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much for your time and take care.